In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the crank position sensor on this Dodge Grand Caravan. Just so you know, after this procedure, you will need to perform a relearn for the engine to run properly. Let's get started. Underneath the vehicle, towards the rear, this is your uh, rear exhaust pipe right here. That's the front over there. And your cross member, look right between these two and you'll see the crank position sensor mounted to the engine block right where it meets the transmission. That's what we're after. First, we need to unplug it. To do that, I'm going to use a pick and try to pick that red locking tab off. Try and push it through from the front. These are also oftentimes clogged up with sand, so that doesn't help. There we go. Try and reach in here and grab on the wire. And from underneath with the pick, I'm gonna try and press on that lock on the, uh, the locking tab of the connector. And be very careful when you pull on wires. You don't wanna break them. There we go, that worked. Now let's get a 10 millimeter socket, remove that bolt. Well, it looks like my bolt is thankfully unthreading with ease. Hopefully yours is the same. Once we get this out, this will be the last thing that is securing the sensor onto the engine block. So we should be able to slide it right out of there. Okay, there it is. Now at this point, keep in mind, there is an O-ring holding us up and we just have to break that free. Just wiggle it back and forth. Be careful not to break it, otherwise you're in for a lot more work. Try and come in from the side with a screwdriver. See if I can pry it. Okay. You can get it to spin a little bit. That might help. Oh, I got it. There we go. Very carefully twist on that screwdriver. And there it is. I'm going to try to stick a rag in here just, just so I can clean off the mounting surface. It looks like I have just enough room. I want the O-ring to have a perfect seal surface there so that it doesn't leak and so that the new one seats in all the way. And speaking of, let's get this new one slid right in here. Make sure you line it up. And I put a little bit of oil on that O-ring just so I can slide it in all the way easily. You want to make sure that the O-ring goes in without any pressure from the bolt. If you have to use the bolt, well, it could actually break that ear off. Now I don't have quite enough space to push it. So what I'm gonna do is very gently push it in with a little pry bar. Just be very careful where you pry because uh, well, you, can, you can break it. Now we just have to line up the mounting hole, put that mounting bolt in. All right, got the bottom out by hand. Now I'm gonna put my ratchet on it and just give it a quick snug. That's good right there. Now plug it back in. Make sure that connector clicks and can't come off. And then of course, lock the red locking tab back in so that it can't come undone uh, by accident. There we go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.